Hey guys, it's Micah here. Welcome to day 5 where we will talk all about quantizing. In this video, I'm going to show you how to quantize straight from your push. So if you record a beat or even a melody and you want to nudge the note to the right place rhythmically, you're going to be using the quantize function. So to get started, I'm quickly going to find a drum rack here. Any rack will do, so I'm going to choose a random one. And for quantizing, we're going to be using this quantize button on the left here. If you push and hold the quantize button, you can see a bunch of settings on your display. You'll see the swing amount, quantize to, which determines the nearest note value you're quantizing to, how much you want to quantize, and whether record quantization is on or off. I'll go into details on all these functions a little later in the video. For now, I'm just going to hit my metronome and hit record. Click, tick, 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 click, tick, tick, tick. Let's look at the clip I just recorded. You can see that not all the notes are precisely on the beat. Some of them are a little bit off. All you need to do is snap them to the grid, and you can do this by pushing the quantize button once. But now, if I undo that by pushing undo, and I click and hold this quantize down, I can decide which unit I want to quantize it to. It's on 16th notes at the moment, but sometimes you want more precision and quantize it to the 32nd note. For me, a 16th note will do. I also want to set my quantize amount. Sometimes you don't want it to snap your notes 100% to the beat. If you want them to snap closer to the grid but not fully, this is the value you want to change. I've lowered the percentage and you can see the notes only move a little bit when I push quantize. The lower the percentage, the less the notes are going to be quantized and moved. The other thing I want to show you is the swing function. Let me do some repeated notes by pushing repeat and recording a sequence of notes. Now I can change the swing amount with a swing encoder. You won't hear a difference until you hit quantize again after changing your swing amount. Compare the before and after sequence. If you push and hold the quantize button, you should see the swing amount there too. One thing I also want to tell you is that you can quantize individual notes. I'm just unquantizing some things in Ableton Quick. Say I want to quantize only the kick. I can push the select button and hold the kick pad and in the push screen I can nudge the notes with the nudge encoder and just move them slightly to where I want them to be. Or you can push and hold down the quantize button and then select the respective sample on your drum rack. That way, only that one sample will be quantized according to your quantization settings and all the other notes will stay where they've been recorded to. And one more thing, as promised, when you push and hold quantize, you can decide which rhythmic unit that you want to record quantize to with the encoders, as well as toggle record quantize on or off with the selector pad. Now let's make a new clip with record quantize on. As I play, the notes will snap into place according to my record quantize settings. You can hear that my hi-hat has swing on it. So removing the swing produces a normal, straight, repeated note. And that is how you do quantization on the Ableton Push. Tomorrow we're going to start talking about the melodic instrument pad so that we can also add some melody and harmony to our drums. If you have any friends that can also learn from the series, please do share it with them. The more the merrier. And on that note, that's it from me, Batman, Barbie and her sister. See you tomorrow.